Yo, welcome back to the channel everyone. Hope you guys are all doing well. It's Oscar and today we're going to be kind of designing or quickly kind of mocking up a, a custom chipset on ClassicPokerChips.com and this should be pretty fun. So I've kind of played around with this in like the last year. Uh, maybe one day if I was to get a custom poker chip, I'd probably go through CPC because that's, I'd say probably the closest thing you're going to get to an actual casino chip. But uh, yeah, let me give a little background on CPC. So they create all types of different uh, custom chips. You can get sample chips. Uh, they have uh, stock chips like uh, three, five, three and 500 chips that's already made. Like Atlantic Club, uh, I believe Amol chips, Rounders chips. Um, you can almost whatever your mind can think of as far as like a clay or clay composite chip, uh, CPC is gonna be the way to go. So um, let's kind of jump into it. So uh, here you just hit custom chips and chip designer. This is gonna take you to the poker chip design tool and this was kind of made in collaboration with CPC, uh, J5 design and then uh, PCF. So plenty of people on PCF know who CPC is. Uh, they know who J5 design is and they also have used this chip designer uh, plenty of times as well. So if we kind of look here, we can load a set. So this is like a Stardust sample set I made uh, a while back, kind of with the $1.52500. Uh, large crown chips. This is kind of a, um, I guess kind of like a tribute mold, I guess we could say, or a tribute set I would have kind of mocked up to see. Uh, Kind of like how older large crown chips used to be, really classy and stuff like that. So um, that's one small crown cash set. This would have been a pretty cool cash set to be honest. So if we uh, look at this, um, just a solid frack, one, five, 25, and then a hundred with some kind of different edge spots than what a normal small crown chip would have had. But hey. That's the kind of thing you want to do, or you can do with the, this kind of poker chip designer. And then you can obviously take this design, uh, export it as a PNG, and then if, let's say if you wanted to order from CPC, you can directly, um, I guess, send them the, the proof. And uh, obviously it tells you all the colors. And then you can upload an inlay and all kinds of cool stuff like that. So, um, and then large, uh, large, large crown intense. This was something I kind of, uh, made as well that was a little bit more on the wild side, but uh, I think it was fun. So uh, Let's uh, begin something new so uh, Let me see here. So if we Load a default set. This is we're gonna we're gonna be able to choose the two chip uh, sizes 39 mil and 44 mil and then all the different types of molds so um, we're going to go in with a small crown, obviously I like TR Craze, I like um, obviously the small crown, large crown stuff, so we're going to go with the small crowns, of course, and then let's go ahead and let's play around, maybe we're going to make a 1-5-2500-500 set, so um, most ones I guess we're thinking about, uh, what if we make like a Nevada Club tribute set, that would be pretty cool. So. If we go here, we're gonna go to spot pattern. We're gonna look towards the Nevada Club ones that have a quarter pie, and we're gonna use that as inspiration. So I think we're gonna go with more of a light blue base color, um, a black edge spot, and then a white edge spot. That looks pretty good already. Um, and obviously with this, we could put a uh, uh, an active spot here. Um, or if we hit inlay here, this is where we'd be able to do it. So um, if we go ahead and just put like a, whoa, we'll go ahead and put a white inlay and make it a one inch size inlay. So that looks pretty good there. Um, I don't think I have any images to load, so that wouldn't be, um, I don't have anything designed right now. So we'll, we'll just leave it as a blank white inlay for now. So there's one. Um, then we can just click here, save as new. So that's gonna be our number one spot. 
There's our, our one dollar chip. So then we're gonna go with a, a five. I think we're gonna go, um, if we kind of mess around with these edge spots, we can kind of see uh, see what there is to choose from. And I don't really like the thin edge spots, so I think we're gonna go with something a little bit thicker. Um, if we can find something. I'm not the best with these edge spots. I know there's tons of people out there that have a little bit of a better understanding about uh, what edge spots are what. Um, but let's go ahead and find something that has, I think, oh, okay, so we're missing one edge spot because it's the same color as the chip. So what if we go for this as like the five? Um, I think if we're gonna do a five, I think most people go with red. Um, or we could do this Dayglo Tiger like the Mapes. Um, but I know that Nevada Club had like a salmon colored um, five. So, if we do here, I don't know if we're gonna get salmon colored, um, but the peach would be kind of close. Or we could just stick around and go with red. Or we could just go with the tiger. What if we go with this? And then we make the edge spot. The one is going to be black. And then what if we make... We could go with green. Or we could go with blue to match the one dollar. So I think that's what we're going to do. Kind of alternate these so it does like that. It's a little bit different than normal. But it's a cool thing. We can kind of mess around with it. So I think we're going to save that as the number two spot. So there we go. Then we're going to go to the 25. And um, I don't want to get too crazy. So if this is 3D 14.4, um, we can do, let's see here, 3D 14, 3V. That kind of gets a little bit more insane. Or you could go even that much further to get more insane. Um, let's see here. We could go with this, so this is going to have three edge spots. And the cool thing is we can kind of alternate the edge spots too, so it doesn't have to be perfectly aligned. Um, so for the, let's go with a Blurple 25. And then we're going to go a little bit crazy with the color. So we could almost do tiger to match the five. We could do the one over there. And then we could do this last edge spot. Go a little bit crazy. Um, think about it, what our 100, even our 100 could be white. So that could look pretty sick right there. And I think that's actually gonna be really good. So if we save that for the 25, so we got ones here, 25 here, or five here, 25 here. And then we're gonna work around with the um, the hundred, and our hundred is going to be white. Um, now, if we change that back to blur, but we'll be able to see the edge spots. Um, the hundred. I don't want to make the hundred really, really crazy. I want to keep it classy. Um, even a quarter pie or half pie, quarter pie would work. Um, we could also go kind of crazy with the edge spot and go something like this. Oh, it's not really generally done on TRKs. This generally isn't done on TRKs either, but we could go with this where there's six edge spots. Um, so if we go with a white base chip, um, we could do black and tiger. That could look pretty sick. We could do blurple and black. Um, we could do tiger and blurple. That looked pretty sick. Um, let's see here. White, bright white. Hmm. Could also go with a black hundred, like normal. Um, or we could do something crazy. What if we went with black, and then we kind of messed around with this? Even that look that that would look pretty sick right there. Or we could do something just uh, completely different. And um, let's see here. 
what color would our 500 be? If we're gonna do this, we're gonna do a 500. Um, what if we make the 500? Hmm. So then we could make the five red. Go with like the Mandarin red. But I kind of want something brighter. I want something that stands out. So if we do this and we go back to the uh, the edge spots that we had here, we make the base color because it's a hundred. I'm, I'm thinking 100 is going to be either black or white. It's usually black um, black is standard, but white was kind of California colors. Uh, let's see here. We could make the 500 be like a dark blue. That would look pretty sick. Um, so that could almost be our 100 right there. That looks pretty nice. We save that. And then we make the 500. Let's see here. What, are, what could we make the 500 as far as edge spots goes? Keeping the kind of the edge spot progression going. Uh, let's see here. These are really weird edge spots, but uh, let's see. What if we went almost with a half pie, um, or even a tri moon? That wouldn't look too bad. What if we went with a half by 500? That is gonna be dark blue. And then the other edge spot will be canary, diggle peacock, pink, lavender. What if we did that? That would look pretty sick. And then we made the background gray, that if we made the background dark gray and this is where the thing you can kind of do so you have all your chips here we have like five denominations right here so if you wanted to save this um and then you hit all chips here and then you click here it opens up this uh this preview basically so you can see the chips obviously the one here five twenty five hundred five hundred and this isn't like a normal breakdown as far as colors go. This is something I completely made right in front of you guys if you, if you saw. Um, and you can spend hours working on this. Like, like I showed you guys, um, I did this large crown set here. This is really nice. I actually really like this one. So that would be something I wouldn't actually mind ordering. Um, let's say if I were to order this, they'd probably be hot stamped. And you can obviously order these chips blank if you wanted to. You can order them with the inlays. Uh, CPC will do the inlays. Um, just similar as the uh, manufacturers used to do them back in the day. Um, the small crown cash set. All these chips and stuff. As as you see them on screen, that's, it. that's exactly how they would come. So... I don't know, it's really cool. You can spend hours working on this, making them your own, designing inlays, coming up with ideas, and literally anything your mind can think of, you can literally implement it onto a, uh, a set of chips that you designed yourself. Uh, you came up with the colors, the edge spots, literally everything. Um, it makes it fun. It makes it like you're connecting yourself to the chips. You can, I don't know, your, your mind just goes crazy. And like I said, I've spent hours um, working on sets, designing sets, and uh, it's cool. It's really cool. And big shout out to CPC for for bringing this opportunity to the uh, the chip community. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like. If you have any comments, put those down below. Uh, share this video with your friends and families. And uh, yeah, maybe this video might reach out to somebody who wants to order from CPC. Um, if you wanted to know pricing, you can go here. And um, right here on the front page, or, or if you hit custom chips, here's the price list. There's all kinds of information right here. And uh, that's basically all you need. You get in contact with uh, David Sprague or the sales rep at Classic Poker Chips and you can get an order placed. Generally when they do ordering, the ordering is done via um, basically the molds, the different molds you see here on the left side, they're done in different rotations as far as uh, how many orders are like 
waiting and uh, waiting to get into production and stuff like that. So really cool stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.